I was just like, uh, just read the f***ing, considering what just came down the pipeline, all these sexual harassment and assault lawsuits and stuff like that. This was, this wasn't even in poor taste. This was just potentially you might get, be getting yourself in trouble. Okay. Is, the, is, there, is there a distinct possibility that there may have been underage girls Bruh. in that uh, hey, come yo. On. yo, those comments was totally unnecessary made by Melissa Ford. Like I get the climate we in and everything, but that's why you gotta be careful with the shit that you say out of your mouth. But Cameron took the IG and he had this to say about those comments made by Shorty. Eight in the morning, Eastern time. First day, guys, shout out to the big homie, Stephen A. Smith. So during our shows sometime, me and Mace talk about old stories. I've known Mace since I was 11 years old, maybe younger than that, maybe nine or 10 years old. So we talk about old stories. And I ain't gonna be long-winded because I don't wanna be up here all day. I just wanna make sure everybody's super clear on why I'm doing this. During one of our shows, I was talking about how me and Mace in the 90s, which I was talking about, the actual year I was talking about was 1992. We was in a whorehouse. And we was laughing, having fun. And we were saying, we, you know, we, whatever, we was in the whorehouse. Mace, you know, Mace don't always give me permission to talk about our old stories because, you know, he's a man of God and he got other shit going on, but he remembers his past sometimes, so sometimes he's let me talk. Anyway, I'm talking about this time we in the whole house and all that shit. Talking about um, we slid a bitch, all this shit. Cool, whatever. I see a clip where on on Joe Button's podcast where Melissa Ford is talking about, oh, it might have been underage girls in there. First of all, I only like older bitches. Second of all, it was 1992. We was underage. That's A and B. I, we wasn't supposed to be in there. We wasn't 18. I just turned motherfucking 16. I ain't even defending myself on that nonsense. You're not even from this country. I don't know what the fuck was going on in the, in the whole houses in Canada or wherever you from or whatever pedophile shit they on, wherever you from. We not on that. I ain't even going into that. More of the story, she said it. Knowing the times we in. Joe Buttons and them went in on her or whatever. They're like, yo, that's some serious allegations. This and the third. But they didn't edit it out. So from two things I take from that, they either threw her under the bus or they said, fuck it, let's get the ratings or whatever they want to do. Either way it came out, it could have been edited out. It wasn't live like I'm doing live right now. So I ignored it because it's nonsense. So I ignored the shit. We said a little something on our show, but we don't get that. We don't give. See, they we don't give this type of energy I'm doing on live. That type of business on our show, my nigga. Our shit is sports and our fun. So this energy don't go on our show. This cam energy on my own personal time. So we said a little something. I ain't even say nothing. I said, fuck the bitch. The bitch don't know what she talking about, whatever. So yesterday, whatever day, she issues an apology. I'm like, nah, don't apologize. Because I was going to address it when I felt like addressing it. But the reason I addressed it yesterday is because it's like, yo, you say that foul shit? Because that's some foul shit to say. Man felt like that shit, like, and the times we in for you to make them type of allegations, don't know what the fuck you talking about? You serious?